Welcome to 28th of Mars Kali Pressing. Now we all have bondages in our life and these bondages make us tighter in our clothes. And what clothes are we talking about? We are talking about this physical cloth which is the cloth for us the souls. The infinitesimally small divine pure light that we souls are. Sitting right at the center of our forehead. So God says over here that it is important that we loosen our clothes so that loosen our clothes means have not many attachments and be maximum detachments in a life so that we are ready to go any time and travel any time up and down up means towards the supreme abode and down means again in the kingdom of heaven which is being created by god himself on this very earth so god here says may you be detached and free from bondage with the practice of coming and going now we can travel through our mind and that is also known as astral travel in the western world it is known as out of body experience it is also known as uh, the ultimate travel of the soul beyond the worlds now this is something which has been given a very big jargon in the western world but in our country bharat it's a very simple understanding that we souls come down take our bodies and we go back and when we are stuck in this body you must have heard about many yogis and tapasvis who sit down in caves and try to feel detached from the body so they've been doing the astral travel for a very very long time but where do we need to travel is what we need to understand otherwise there's no point in traveling if you don't know where you're going to go how will you travel so here that's what god says that the essence of this whole study of knowledge is coming and going that we come on this earth and we go back to the supreme abode which is red golden in light and in which we souls live like a father who looks like this and we also look like this a point of divine like concentrated being you have the happiness in your intellect of going home home of the soul not the physical body and then going into the kingdom into the kingdom which is being created on this very earth however only those who constantly practice coming and going will be able to return happily become stable in the bodiless stage for that we have to become stable in the bodiless stage that means complete feeling of nothing belongs to me i am nothing and nobody as per the physical titles given to me on this earth i am not attached to them at all i use them just to work and then i detach myself completely so it's like an actor who goes on to the stage becomes somebody else but when he is down from the stage and back in his house he is somebody else so become stable in the bodiless stage we came without a body and we have to be stable in a bodiless stage whenever you want and become karmatit whenever you want karma tit means i am doing my karma without having any form of expectations from this karma and i am not using any of the vices to get the karma done that means i am not getting entangled into greed or jealousy or anger or ups getting upset or getting mood off that is a karmic account then this practice has to be very firm to achieve this let no bondage attract you to itself let no bondage attract you to itself that means any bondage can be a relative can be a friend can be a wife husband can be a child can be a job can be a title can be your wealth anything can become a bondage how if anything goes away from you today in relations in material world in your own physical features if anything gets disturbed will you get disturbed and that is a challenge if it's not disturbing you then that means you're not in a bondage any bondage makes a soul tight and you have to struggle to remove tight clothes that means it will make you feel more weighted or it will make you feel more heavier in your mind it will make you feel pulled down and the reason for feeling pulled down is some form of i me mine myself therefore be constantly detached and make the lesson of remaining free from bondage form whatsoever i'm doing i'm not going to take it with me 
I'm not going to be labeled after it. Even if my labels are left over here, they have no use. People will forget all those things. So how do I work then? How do I act then? How do I behave around people? Should I make them feel feel a little annoyed with me? Should I make them feel disappointed with me? Should I make them feel as if they are junior or they are lesser than me? Or should I make them feel that they are equal to me, they are communicating with me and they have no form of impurities in their mind because I don't have any impurities for them in their mind, in my mind. So how do you want to live your life? You have to decide that so that you are beyond the bondages and these different methods are being taught in Brahma Kumaris of how to remain without a bondage on a daily basis. You too can come and learn it. Om Shanti with this.